Hello, everyone. This is Amrit Podal. I'm a PhD student at the University of Notre Dame. And today I'll be talking about, uh, about our recent paper that is navigating the post API dilemma. Search engine results pages present a, pre present a biased view of social media data. So um, in February of 2023, X, formerly known as Twitter, discontinued, discontinued its access to free API services, which was shortly followed by Reddit. This has impeded research in fields where the social media data plays a crucial role. And we call this time the post-API dilemma. In this work, we focus on whether SERP APIs, specifically Google SERP, can provide an unbiased sample of social media data and serve as a valid replacement for social media APIs. So we conduct a comprehensive analysis to evaluate the reliability and bias in SERP results compared to direct social media data. We examine, we examine the dimensions of popularity, token level analysis, sentiment level analysis, and topic level analysis. So for the first one, that is popularity, we find that there is almost no correlation between user or post popularity and SERP result rank. However, SERP results returns scores that are statistically significantly higher than typical Reddit post and active Twitter or X users. For the token and level analysis, we find that um, we find the difference in the types of terms returned by SERP as compared to the non-sampled social media data, which indicates bias in the content displayed. As we can see for Reddit, we can see the terms such as removed comments, Ukraine, Trump, whereas uh, for the SERP, we can see more general and more uh, terms with positive connotations to them. And we find the similar results in Twitter as well. Furthermore, the sentiment level analysis and topic coverage highlights that SERP results tend to be more positive and focus on healthcare related content while censoring pornographic, spam, and highly political content found in non-sampled social media data. Here we can see that uh, this is for uh, Reddit versus Google, uh, Google SERP, where we find that SERP censors Reddit posts that are pornographic, spam, or highly political in nature. Um, we find the similar results for Twitter as well. And our findings uh, in conclusion reveal that there is a collective bias in SERP outcomes, rendering it an unreliable substitute for direct access to social media data. All the research heavily depends on SERP data may offer some valuable insights. We emphasize the necessity for future studies to be aware of the inherent limitations and biases in SERP results. Thank you.